Okay, are we going? I think we're streaming now. Uh, welcome to part two. I'm going to be talking all about War for Cybertron again. Uh, there is, again, no multiplayer information at this time. I'm hoping that sometime, at some point during the day, they're going to reveal it, and I will hopefully try to make a video for you guys. Um, until then, let's go ahead and let's get back to all the single player and escalation stuff that we have going on. I'm going to go ahead and I'm going to put a screen up. Get this going. Alright, so we're back. We have this video here, which is a fantastic, it's much clearer than the other one, you can see. Alright, so right off the bat I want to show, again, it says Path Blaster there. You can see your clip, you can see what's empty, you have your ammo here, you have your special ability is ready here when it has that ring around it, it has the button on it for you. I'm going to go ahead and let's play it, and I'm going to start uh, showing you guys stuff. So, first off, you saw that Optimus did dash. Every character in single player can dash. That is their, everybody has that ability. Um, what you just saw Optimus do was he just marked, that was his special ability, marking a target for Metroplex to rain fire and brimstone, brimstone down on the enemy. Um, sometimes he does shoot at them, sometimes he smashes them. Um, I really love the transformations, at least the ones that we've seen so far. You saw Optimus, you know, running around and bouncing on the ground. I thought that was really cool. Um, you can still, you know, you can still strafe in car mode. You can still, you know, hit the gas. You can still jump in car mode. And you still, and Optimus appears to still have rockets for that vehicle. All right, so he's using his ability again. We're gonna watch that. As soon as that's done, we're gonna go ahead and watch this refill. So you see, it starts going around again. Very nice. Okay. Um, also, I want you to watch out for is when he runs out of ammo on here. That's your reloading. So you know when you're about to when how long you you have without be, having to look down the quarter or look at the weapon to see or listen for sound effects to hear when the weapon is ready to be you know ready to be used again. You saw him pick up another weapon there. This is a heavy weapon, so we swapped from the blue gun to a yellow ammo gun. So this is a heavy weapon. Uh, again, we have the score up here in the corner. See him dump. He had dash. Um. What else? What else? What else? You can see this is obviously a really big thing. When you run, when you're getting low on ammo or you run out, it, it's a very bright red. I like that in that it's bright and noticeable. I don't like that it's almost overwhelming and distracting for me, at least. Um, in the heat of battle, though, you know it probably is going to be, hey, I'm running out of ammo. I need to pay attention to this. Something else you guys want to look at, that's saving, obviously. And then this is a Teletrans store. This is where you pick up, you know, other guns. This is also apparently where you, uh, let me pause it, where you will be upgrading your guns. And I, why can't I do that? I'm just failing today. It, it clicking. Epic fail. Okay, let's get back in here. So one of the things I told you guys about at BotCon was that I love these, the pause screens and the Teletran 1 screens. They're pretty sim similar. They do this fun line over all the objects in the foreground and the far ground um, and it just looks really cool then you get your thing going we still have the Cybertron in there eh. all right so this is also where you will be buying upgrades for your guns so you have like a purchase so they want to you can buy a gun out of the store um, and uh, you can upgrade them to I would assume have you know more damage range accuracy rate of fire all that sort of stuff you can see over here they have the primary weapons, they have the heavy weapons, which is the blue ammo and the yellow ammo. Do not know what this is, do not know what that is, do not know what that is. I'm assuming that these are probably the upgrades for your guns. The assault, the utility, and the perks. They don't go over that yet, we don't, we've never, as far as I'm aware, seen any of that yet, but that's my assumption. Um, so you can see all the different guns here. We have, I think, the gear shredder, the whatever, the tech bolt, thermal rocket cannon, the gas cannon. There, yeah, there's the gear shredder. So this is one of the fun ones that they kept showing us. It reminds me a lot of one of the weapons from either Jack Jack 2 or Jack, I think Jack 3, where you have the weapons that bounces off the wall and it goes around until it hits an enemy. Or Ratchet and Clank, which I believe they do have some sort of disc that flies around and bounces off walls and kills stuff. So uh, if you're familiar with that gun, then there you go. So this would be one of the places where you pretty much have to use your ability to take out something with Metroplex. So he goes ahead, he marks it, and then Metroplex is going to go ahead and he's going to blow it up. Let's go skip ahead a little bit because we've seen that. What I want to show is when Metroplex goes and takes out this other thing up in the corner there. Let's see. Can we get him to do that? Right now? Right here. Okay. So we're going to go ahead. He's going to mark it. And uh, you can, you know, it has some sort of instructions for you. Here comes Metroplex running overhead. Bam! Check it out. Alright. 
So that's another one of the really cool things. Like I said, sometimes he smashes stuff, sometimes he blows it up. And one of my favorite things about this video in particular is that we also get... Where is it at? Keep going. Almost, almost, come on. Keep going. Star Screams level right here. We have, you know, some, some of the longer video. We saw some video at uh, BotCon, but not nearly enough. This is more video from it. You get to see some of the variants of gameplay here. Starscream has the ability, when he comes up on an enemy, to do sort of like a... What would you call it? Like, like an assassin would do a kill. It's like a stealth kill. Um, I want to pause it here. Let's go back just like a few seconds. Just a few, okay, so you can see it, it, with the new sniper rifle, it will highlight things that are explosive or keep going, zoom back in again, come on. You can see it gives you a target for like an instant kill with, with the, like a headshot or whatever. Um, and I'm not sure what this is for. I assume that that's, let's, let's keep watching. I haven't figured that out yet. 100%. So this the, that's the charge rate. So these the the weapon does charge up apparently like it did for Revenge of the Fallen. Um in between shots. So we have that, boom, he's dead. You see you have three uh waypoints on this particular thing. Um they still give out, you know, energon shards that up your score and uh you can see all these very cool things. This this level is just fantastic looking. Um I so Another one of the things I want to talk about, Starstream's ability in single player, which you will see in just a bit, is that he cloaks. He is a cloaker in single player now. However, in Escalation, his ability is like the ammo beacon. Uh, it's a little bit different. It is still... Oh, look at that. See, I love that. I'm not sure why the power's on, but still, it looks fantastic. Um, and when you get in here... Uh, if I had the sound on, you'd be able to hear Metroplex, I think it's Metroplex, or Teletran, whoever it may be, uh, says that, you know, there's a Decepticon intruder or whatever in the system. And so you can still, as a Decepticon, you can still buy stuff from Teletran, even though apparently you are unwelcome. So you can still strafe as a jet, you can still do dodging rolls, all that sort of stuff. Um, you just saw him cloak. Fantastic. This is one of the other cool guns, this is the... I don't know what you call it again. We, we just saw it on the screen. I'm sure some of you probably read it and you're, you're yelling at the screen now. You're telling me what it is. Um, but you can see what it does is it lobs like little grenades and they sort of... They mess with... I, as far as I'm aware, they mess with the, the gravity. And you can see, you know, some of the stuff is blowing up over here. There's debris. I love that. Um, so whether some of the environments are slightly destructible or they just give the air of being destructible, it looks really cool. It looks fantastic. Um, so here's another one of the cool gameplay things. There's a hole in the roof. So, Starscream, uh, cloaks, comes up behind him, stealth kill. Which, that is hilarious right there. <laughs> I don't know why it would hurt him, but hey, it is still funny. Uh, you can see right here, we have rocket, shows the rocket is coming in on Starscream. And where, which direction it's coming from. So you can come up here, dodge. So there's another one coming up, dodge, you know. All this fantastic stuff. I'm gonna go ahead and I'm gonna pause it on him. That would be a, that's a really weird place to pause it, but hey. Okay, let's pause it right there. Um. So what what can I say? I mean, uh, he all right. So he had the subsonic repeater. That was like the the main main mini gun or whatever. The other one was a heavy weapon. That that gravitational gun that you saw was a heavy weapon. Uh, here's obviously his cloaking abilities re refilling. I'm gonna go ahead. I'm gonna go to the camera now. Um, I mean, what can I say? It's just, we've, we've seen so much information, it's almost overwhelming amount of information. Um, but it is fantastic. I'm gonna see if I can find that Escalation video now. And it's not up front. I think they might have moved it. But now we also have something that I have not seen. This is something new for today that... Alright. I'm totally going to show this. I'm, this is my first time seeing it with you guys. Let's watch this. So it's three minutes long. You ready? Any 
trouble. You back me up. I thought you said this place was deserted. Right. Must know we're coming. They keep getting in our way. Stop right there, deceptive creeps. Keep your hands where we can see them. Hey, Vortex, use your shockwave now. Scrap. They're trying to cut us off from the transport. Move it, blast off. Do not lose the trip. Gonna be tight. Vortex, we're running out of time. Get to that bridge now. I'm working on it. We'll work faster. We need to bring that bridge down before the transport can cross it. Alright, so, obviously we got to see a whole bunch of stuff in that video. Um, there was, obviously, we got to see Blast Off, we got to see when there are flying parts, when you're supposed to be, you know, in jet mode or whatever, following Blast Off. There was a sort of path that you could follow, you didn't have to follow it, but it was sort of to keep you from getting lost. I'm assuming that some people probably complained in the other game that they got lost or confused while, um, about which direction they were supposed to go in some of the levels. So that'll help with that, um... And you can always pick a different path. I'm assuming that there's probably going to be some sort of destructibles or secrets things that you can go look out for, you know. Perhaps there is some sort of overshield that you can pick up, but I doubt it. Um, otherwise, you know, destroy the Autobot logos, what have you. Uh, you got to see, this was some of the stuff that we got to see at BotCon. You got to see um, part of the level, his level, where he is, you know, flying around. We have helicopter mode, we have jet mode. We have, uh, you know, robot mode, and in helicopter mode you see that there's all of the fun stats on the screen that I don't think are really useful, but they look really cool, and uh, they make you think that you are actually, you know, flying a little helicopter. It's really cool. Um, what else did we see? I mean, uh, they didn't, I didn't think they showed Vortex's other weapon in helicopter mode, because he has that subsonic repeater in, in that sort of machine gun in helicopter mode, and then I believe he also has rockets, which I didn't see them switch to or use. You saw that his special ability, ability in single player is shockwave. Uh, what else? What else? What else? I mean, there was a whole bunch of stuff that we saw, like, at the beginning. Replay. I think that's the replay button. Oh, no, that's the replay button back there. I missed it. I'm sorry. I'm gonna go ahead and pop up the 2D mix. Play. I'm gonna turn off the sound. And I'm going to try and finish this really quick so we can get to the Grimlock stuff below. 
all right so we saw we had all this fun stuff you can see that he still has the the whatever there's the path that you're supposed to follow or that that will keep you from getting lost um blast off is way up there i love the interaction between the characters that we have right here um you know he's telling blast off he's going too fast there's all the natural dangers that are in your way uh you saw there was some sort of steam back there there's lasers over here very cool. We got to hear Onslaught through most of the level, you know, giving them orders. We heard Starscream give a little bit of banter with them. We skipped around. It seems like they're skipping all the, the like, boring parts. Anytime you stop to, to have some sort of character interaction, I assume. Here we go again. Alright, yeah, you can see there's a bunch of little dudes you can shoot. It's a lot like the, the levels in Warp Cybertron. So that's not nothing too new. Let's go ahead and let's see this one. Let's go ahead and turn off the mic and put on the screen. Once again, we have to put you in your place. Look, Grimlock. It's as big and tough as you. Crush you! Frag. We just saw Slag or Slug or whatever they happen to be calling him anymore. That was really cool. So you got to see that Grimlock really is the only one that ha seems to have a speech impediment out of all the Dynamods. Um, they didn't show the other ones um, besides Slug. But we also get to see Swoop at some other point and I uh, think, s not Sludge, the, uh, the Stegosaurus. We got to see him. Um, and they, we got to hear them and they don't seem to have any speech impediments either. It's pretty much it's just Grimlock. He seems to have trouble communicating his thoughts. Um, what else? We got to see a whole bunch of stuff. They've added a whole slew of new sound effects, and it looks like they added actually a couple of new moves for Grimlock since the game uh, version that they had been airing in Europe and BotCon. Um, all the growling, all that sort of stuff that the the robot mode, or I mean the the dinosaur mode did, that was all like pretty much new and exciting, and, and it sounds great. It's really adding you know a lot of depth to the game. And it makes you feel like, oh, I'm a robot, I'm a giant robot, too, and it's so awesome. Yay! Yay! Okay. Where's my little exit button? I have escape button. Bam. All right. So we got to see a whole bunch of stuff on there. We got to see he's got, obviously, melee. He's got a shield. Um, I, I honestly, I don't know where all this, uh, where the escalation video went. I am running out of time, though, so I'm going to try, I mean, I might have to do a third part just to cover escalation, you guys. There's just so much information coming out right now. All right, so I'm going to see you back here in a bit. See you for part three.